So along with iOS 15, iPadOS 15, and watchOS 8, yesterday was when those came out. And I don't know when this video is going to get uploaded. But along with those, we also got tvOS 15, which I don't even know if that was covered at WWDC this year. I honestly don't remember. So I certainly don't remember what's in this update, but we're going to download it and install it anyway. So just for reference, this is an Apple TV 4K, not the newer version. The older version with the A10X processor and currently running at about a, a 30 megabit uh, internet connection. Obviously on a faster internet connection it'll download faster and on a newer device it'll um, download faster. We have to remember to go to system instead of general since they put the software update button in a different place than they do on every other device on the planet. <laughs> you can see um, Apple TV version 15.0 is available so we'll go ahead and click Download and install now. It says do not unplug while the software update is in progress. Well, duh. <laughs> not sure who would think to do that. Um, and so it's loading up and we'll see what happens. And yes, I do have my Apple TV plugged into a monitor. I know, I'm a little extra. So it's saying about seven minutes remaining. So we get a progress bar on the left there under the Apple TV thing. Software is updating. We're a little past the uh, seven minute mark now. And now we have three minutes left, so <laughs> this thing seemed to have been very much uh, overestimating its ability. <laughs> All right, so it took about 12 minutes, uh, a little less than twice double its original estimate to finish the download, and then it didn't even wait. It immediately jumped into the first preparing and then installation phase. Uh, these Apple TV updates work a little bit different than every other Apple device for some reason, but yeah, it didn't even ask, doesn't even ask you for confirmation. It just cuts off, goes straight into the uh, preparation, then install. So it's interesting. Also, it has to remind you not to unplug your Apple TV. <laughs> like someone would think that would be a good idea. All right, it just finished the preparing update bar, which means it should be booting back up into installation mode. <laughs> and we should get that progress bar in just a second. The um, light on the Apple TV has started blinking so that's good like the apple watch tick mark that lets you know it's it's thinking and working and etc etc and here we go there's our progress bar for our installation yep, and now it's gone and now it's back we are at about the 18 minute mark from what we started the uh, whole process so this seems to be going pretty fast but apple hasn't been giving much attention to tvos so there's probably not that much included in this update anyway. Oh my gosh, we got a big boy progress bar now. <laughs> I've never seen that before. What the heck? It just kind of went blank, the screen went blank for a second and then we came back with this. <laughs> All right, at the 21 minute mark, and as you can see, um, it's already back up. So that was a very fast update. Let's go ahead and check the what's new button. Since I don't have update notes. <laughs> We have to rely on the what's new pane. Um, and apparently there's absolutely zero things new. <laughs> yeah, we got nothing. So that's uh, that's unfortunate. It did update correctly, didn't it? Yeah, we're in 15.0. Software is up to date. Just uh, there's, there's nothing new. Uh, so yeah, that's that. All right, thank you for watching the entirety of whatever the heck that was and if any of you have updated to tvOS 15 and want to tell me what the heck has actually changed, I'd be very interested to know. Okay, bye.